Hello, today we are taking a look at the new USB-C AirPods Pro 2 which came out a few weeks ago. We will compare the differences to the first generation AirPods Pro and see if they are worth upgrading. First, let's unbox the new AirPods. In the box, you get the new AirPods. Three extra sizes of ear tip. and a new, braided USB-C to USB-C cable. The new AirPods are only a very small change over the previous AirPods Pro second generation. They only have two differences. The main difference is the introduction of a USB-C charging port. This means you can now charge almost all your Apple devices using the same cable. Another upgrade is that the new AirPods now support lossless audio however this will only be available for use on the Apple Vision Pro when it is released. Hopefully it will be compatible with more devices in the future. For the last few years, I have been using the first generation of AirPods Pro so let's take a look at the differences and see if it is worth the upgrade. Most of these features were introduced on the second generation AirPods released a year ago and upgrading from the first generation may have not been worth it then. But is it now? The first thing you will notice when unboxing the AirPods is the extra small tips which didn't come with the first generation which makes them accessible to a lot more people however I use the large tips so this upgrade wasn't a big deal for me. You will also notice some changes to the case which are arguably one of the main reasons to upgrade. On the bottom, you now get speakers. These speakers allow you to get little sounds when you charge the case or put the AirPods in. It also allows you to play a noise on the case from your iPhone to find your AirPods. This works alongside the U1 chip in the case which makes it possible to precisely track the case like you can with AirDAC. Also on the case, you will see there is a place on the side where you can attach a lanyard. These new case upgrades are great for anyone who is often losing their AirPods. The other main improvements over the first generation of AirPods is inside the AirPods themselves. They have an upgraded H2 chip which allows for better noise cancelling and transparency. After using for around a day, I must say I can notice a big difference over the first generation of AirPods. If you go on a train or other public transport, you can now turn on noise cancelling and won't hear anything. On the old AirPods, I would be able to hear the AC when at home but now I cannot hear anything at all. Also the transparency mode is much more natural and you can have a conversation whilst wearing the AirPods which I previously found quite difficult with the first generation. There are also some new software features. First, we now have adaptive transparency mode which automatically blocks out most noises such as construction or a fan but lets through noises you may want to hear such as voices and car horns. It works quite well and means you no longer have to choose between hearing everything or nothing. There is also a new conversation mode which automatically detects when you are talking and reduces the volume of your media allowing you to have a conversation without having to pause or take out your AirPods. Some other nice features that weren't on the first generation of AirPods is the ability to change the volume by swiping on the stem of the AirPods and the case is now MagSafe so you can charge it using either a MagSafe iPhone charger or your Apple Watch charger which is very convenient when traveling. They also have better skin detection which I have found to be much more responsive and reliable. Media plays instantly when I put it in my ear and stops right away when I remove it. Finally, let's talk about the sound quality. Whilst there is only a small difference in sound, I do find the new AirPods more enjoyable to listen to. They still have high levels of detail and a great range which produces rich, clear sounds when listening to music or watching a movie. The biggest difference in sound however is the increased bass. It isn't too bassy but the bass is now louder, punchier and more noticeable which gives your media more depth which I personally really enjoy. Overall, whilst the new features released last month may be a small difference from the AirPods available before, I think the introduction of USB-C helps make the second generation of AirPods Pro a worthwhile upgrade over the first generation of AirPods. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.